Hey folks, so it is time for our day 77 check-in on our zucchini baby. We're gonna take a look at it, see how it's doing, and then chat through what's happening over the course of the next seven days here. There's two really key areas that I wanna to touch on today. The first one is kind of the importance of flowers and what role they play with our plants. And then we're gonna talk about male flowers and female flowers. And if you recall from our video about seven days ago, one thing that I'd mentioned on there was I think that the first flowers are going to start to open up in the next kind of four to five days. And so when we take a look at our zucchini baby here, we can now see that right there, there is indeed our first flower starting to come through. And so this really starts to um, you know, beg and, and warrant the question of like, why do flowers matter so much? Why is Jordan talking about flowers so much? And so the zucchini fruit that we're going to ultimately end up having and eating and enjoying, where does that come from? Well, it comes from the flowers. So it is going to start beneath one of those flowers and then it's going to begin to grow, turn into that fruit that we then harvest. And so the reason why we want to be having flowers on our zucchini plant Plants and really all of our other flowering plants is because that is indicative of us then getting to have a zucchini or a tomato or a cucumber or a squash. So flowers are a really, really great sign. Now the second piece is understanding the different types of flowers. And this is that there are incomplete flowers and complete flowers, or you might hear them talked about as perfect flowers and imperfect flowers. And all that that is alluding to is that there is essentially on some plants, flowers that are complete and have both male and female reproductive elements within one flower. And then there's other plants such as a zucchini that has a distinct male flower and female flower. And so when we start thinking about that for our zucchini baby, the female flower is where the fruit resides and we need pollen to come from the male flower over to the female flower to pollinate it so that it begins to grow. And at that point we then get our zucchini um, that we get to enjoy in a meal there. So when we then look at this plant and the flower that we see on it right now, we're now able to identify whether it is a male flower or a female flower. And the key way to go about telling this is that when you take a look at it, if there is no fruit sitting behind the flower, then that is the male flower. However, if there is a really teeny tiny looking zucchini behind one of the flowers, then that is the female flower. And so when I look at this plant right now, I can see that there's two flowers that have opened up, but neither one of them have a fruit behind it. So that means that we have two male flowers and there is not a female flower with the fruit for the pollen to travel to. So we won't be getting zucchini vegetables growing over the course of the next few days until we see some female flowers beginning to show up. And so if I take a look in here, I think that I can see the very first one starting to come through here. And so in the kind of next seven days or so, that one female flower that we see down there that has the fruit behind it, it's going to develop a little bit, that flower is going to open up, and then the pollen from the male flower is gonna be able to travel over to the female flower, pollinate it and begin to grow into our zucchini fruit. So that's the high level on why flowers matter and what we wanna be looking for in terms of male and female flowers with this baby. And so to wrap up, the next piece is what do we do over the course of the next seven days? Well, this zucchini baby is doing everything that it's meant to. It's grown, it's putting on big, beautiful leaves. It's now starting to develop flowers. And as I mentioned, we can see the first female flower in there just a few days before when it will start to open up. So the next video in our playlist is our day 91 check-in where we're gonna be talking about pollen pollination and how the pollen moves from that male flower over to the female flower to ultimately get us that zucchini fruit. And so if you're curious to understand a little bit in terms of what that looks like and how you can actually be simulating a pollinator yourself, then I really encourage you to head over to the next video. And to do so, all that you need to do is just click on the little tile right here and that will take you over to the next video. So that's everything that I wanted to cover off on for today. If you do have any questions, just go ahead and ask those in the comments down below. Otherwise, you're doing absolutely amazing and I'll catch you on that next video.